Molt honorable president de la Generalitat Valenciana, ministro de Ciencia, Innovación y Universidades, autoridades, president de les Corts, alcalde, delegado del Gobierno, president of the International Council for Industrial and Applied Mathematics, director of this Congress, delegates, gathered here today, ladies and gentlemen. Muy buenos días a todos. Good morning, everyone. Mol bon dia a tots. It is truly a pleasure, as always, to be here in Valencia, and a real honor to officially inaugurate this Congress, organized by the International Council for Industrial and Applied Mathematics. An outstanding event that gathers almost 4,000 participants from more than 100 countries from all over the world, the world. So allow me to give you all the warmest welcome to the city, the region of Valencia, and generally to the Kingdom of Spain, a country that is, I'm proud to say, that is strongly committed to research and innovation and has, as even this Congress also demonstrates, an increasing interest and focus in applied mathematics. In light of the great effort this occasion entails, I would sincerely like to congratulate ECM and the Spanish Society of Applied Mathematics on putting this splendid event together. Likewise, I commend and congratulate the achievements recognized today by ECM in their uh, 2019 edition of its prizes. It was a great honor and pleasure to issue these personally to the recipients. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm happy to wish you all a pleasant stay in this hospitable and joyful city, which is, as you have probably already felt, is fully into its summer mode. And so much, and has so much to offer, those of you who hopefully have some time to spare and choose to stay on for a short vacation, I am sure you will enjoy it. Valencia is home to abundant talent and creativity in which entrepreneurship, the arts, sciences, trade and sports, all of which have seen great examples of excellence and endeavor. It is a city actively engaged in promoting technological progress, environmental development, marine conservation, and an overall stronger feeling and interest in science. With this commitment, it is no surprise that it has earned the title of City of Science and Innovation, an honor bestowed by the Spanish government to those cities that show true leadership in their support for innovation. For example, by defining specific policies of promoting organizations, institutions, and local companies with a strong focus on science, technology, and innovation. Our host today and throughout the week, the University of Valencia, is a key player in this commitment, as are all the universities of this autonomous community. Without the role played by universities, without their capability to both generate knowledge and transfer it to society, scientific and technological progress would simply not be possible. I sincerely thank the UV, the University of Valencia, for welcoming us here today and for collaborating so strongly in the organization of this important event. Valencia and the Valencian Society also show their strong commitment to science innovation and innovation by uh, the yearly King Jaime I Awards Ceremony, which the Queen and I are delighted to attend quite often. These awards 
have over, for over 30 years been paying tribute to work and talent of individuals who devote their lives to making the world a better place by fighting against a variety of diseases, by protecting the environment, by enhancing new technologies, or by creating wealth and generating competitiveness. During these past 30 years, these awards, the King Jaime I Awards, whose juries have included a good number of Nobel laureates, have become an unmissable event for Spanish science. A magnificent opportunity to highlight the importance of research, innovation, and entrepreneurship in a modern, developed, and forward-thinking society such as ours. However, frankly speaking, one could say and should say the same about any one of our societies in our countries. The inauguration today of this very important international congress here in Valencia can also be read, and allow me to do so, as a, an acknowledgement of the valuable research that is being carried out in our country. I would like to drop in a, a few facts and, and, and brag about them, if you will. Over the past, past few decades, Spain has attained a key position in terms of scientific output generating over 3% of global publications. Our researchers are internationally recognized. Some of our research centers, renowned for the quality of their infrastructure, are indeed world leaders in their fields. Spain is increasingly present in major international organizations, and our, our contribution to Europe's achievements in science and innovation are even greater thanks to the work and competitiveness of our scientists and institutions, both public and private, like universities or corporations. We should remember, us Europeans should remember that we also build Europe through science and innovation. Similarly, Spanish mathematics, I am not an expert in the field, allow me to admit, <laughs> but I do know that Spanish mathematics is enjoying a remarkable good health and is highly valued. The Shanghai Ranking Consultancy has listed three Spanish institutions among the top 100 universities for mathematics in 2019. Moreover, Spanish research centers such as the Basque Center for Applied Mathematics, the Instituto de Ciencias Matemáticas, and the Barcelona Graduate School of Mathematics have led the Spanish mathematical research to rank, we've already heard that, seventh in the world by number of citations. In fact, mathematics is today one of Spain's greatest assets in science and innovation. This discipline produces highly high quality basic science, but as you all know very well, it will also serve more and more every day as a vector for technological development and innovation regarding most of the major challenges in basic areas such as health, energy supply, biodiversity, environmental sustainability, weather, you name it. Mathematics is essentially relevant in technologies associated with artificial intelligence, a field in which Spain and Europe are making a considerable effort at all levels. In this context, data science is particularly significant as it enables the mining of useful information from the data we generate through statistical tools and machine learning. That's where those famous algorithms come into play. According to the experts, it is an undisputed fact that in the past two years, we have produced a greater volume of data at a global level than throughout the whole of the preceding periods of our history. The real revolution lies in the possibility of harnessing these data to provide, to, sorry, to improve people's lives. There are endless examples like designing cars that analyze data on the surrounding environment so that they are able to drive themselves, 
help you avoid risks or call for maintenance in health by creating algorithms capable of making diagnostic decisions by interpreting x-rays or genetic information, and the list would go on and on and on. Furthermore, important sectors such as finance, railways, aerospace, energy, use mathematics intensively and therefore need to employ mathematicians. This has unquestionably contributed to make the double major in physics and mathematics become, and this was a big surprise to me, the most popular degree option in Spain for the past five years. Ladies and gentlemen, apart from recognizing and highlighting the value and level of our scientific effort and achievements, results, I believe events like this one are also a great opportunity to go further, to encourage all those involved in our science and technology system, public and private, researchers, technicians, decision makers, teachers, sponsors, to persevere, to reach out and harness any way, in any way possible for us to be more effective and more efficient in generating, attracting, and retaining scientific talent, and in channeling the adequate resources for them to do their job successfully. Bottom line, to make this truly a strategic aim for our country. Señoras y señores, just a few words in Spanish. Su labor es fundamental para el futuro de nuestra sociedad. Así lo entendemos todos. Y por eso nos hemos querido, no hemos querido dejar de asistir a esta importante cita a la que tan amablemente nos han invitado. Les agradezco que hayan elegido Valencia para organizar este evento. No se arrepentirán. Les deseamos un trabajo muy fructífero y unos días inolvidables en nuestro país. Muchas gracias. Thank you very much. Muchas gracias.